I recently shared a video on how I create and manage my client portals in Notion and how I combine it with my projects database so that I can manage the internal and client facing side in one place. Now, I've had a few questions on exactly how that works and how to integrate the two. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. We'll need two templates to do this, our action zone template that contains our projects and action tasks, and then our client portal template as well. And if you don't already have access to those, I've included them both as part of my free Notion starter kit. So all you have to do is sign up to the link in the description. You'll be able to access those and the trainings that go alongside. I recommend doing that and then coming back over and meeting us here. Assuming you have, we're going to start off in our action zone, scroll down to projects, hover over until you see the blue new button, click the little drop down next to it, and you'll see here you have a new project template already in place. If we click the three dots, we can duplicate it, and this time we're going to call this new client template. So new project template is for anything that is internal that doesn't require a client portal, a new client template is for anything where we do want to include the client portal. So once you've done that, click the three dots again. We're going to hit edit. We'll open this up into a full page. We're going to scroll down and you'll see here a lot of it is configured. So we have our action tasks already assigned to our project here. So if we click on filter, the project is set to whatever this project is. It will automatically tag it and we have all of our action tasks. So if we show the database, You'll see this is pulling from our action task. So anything internal, we're going to manage here. And the next step is how do we pull in the client portal so we can manage it all in this space, both the back end and the client face inside. Now to do this, we're gonna have to go into our client portal, scroll down to our back end, and you'll see here everything is managed in the project process database. So what we want to do is come back into our new client template, pull our client portal into resources. What this means is every time we add a new project using this template, it's automatically going to add our client portal in there. So make sure you configure it first and you're happy with how it all looks before you pull it into the template. Then we're gonna scroll down to project management. We're gonna keep all of these tabs for our internal processes, but we're gonna click this plus icon to add a new tab. We're going to find it project process. So here it's right at the top, but you might have to search for it. And you'll see here, this now allows me to pull in anything from the client portal. So I could pull in the process. I can add another tab here. I can click on it again. I can put meetings, I can do it again. I can add documents and I can just pull in any view I like. Now to ensure things aren't confusing, I might want to come into the meetings tab and change this to client meetings. And I might want to change this one to internal meetings so I can differentiate between what's happening with my team and then what's happening with the client. And what this does is it gives us a single place to manage our client's projects. So we've got our internal tasks here, but any time we want to update the client portal, we can just come into the relevant section, say it's process, we can open it up and we can change it right here without having to go into the client portal itself. So it just makes things a little bit easier rather than going in and out and updating everything in different places. You just have everything in one central location and the page that you give access to the client is this client portal. So once it's all set up, here you would click share and this is where you would add your client in or you could share it to web you move me over and you can share it this way as well. Now, once you've done all of that, you're just gonna come out back into your action zone. And now every time we add a new client template and we open this up, we'll give our client a name. So let me call her Levi Tate, like Levitate, if you ever wondered why I always use that name. We're gonna apply our new client template and if we come down, you'll see Levi's client portal is already in here and all of the different steps are already included in here as well. The only thing you would want to do before onboarding uh, Levi or your new client is to come in and customize the welcome message. So if you add a video or a welcome video or anything, you would want to change that. You would want to change the name here and here. And obviously I've included a blank client portal as part of the template, but you obviously wouldn't want to share that with a client. So you would just click here hit delete, 
to embed a loom video, you just do forward slash loom and you would embed the link in there as well. So hopefully that has been helpful in explaining how you can combine the two to manage all of your projects in one place. If you have any questions at all, just let me know in the comments. I know this one can be a little bit confusing, but I promise once you've got it set up, it's easy peasy.